This is a video about some of the most dangerous killers from different parts of Chicago. Coming from the most dangerous gangs in Chicago, we'll be going over everything including how many bodies they had, where they're from, and different legal situations they was involved in. Some of these guys are dead and some still alive. These guys will go on hits with each other and add up how many kills they got to compare them with their enemies, which is a dangerous game to play in real life. This is Top Trend TV and this is Top Chicago Assassins. Well, he is just 19 and charged with a quadruple homicide. This is Maurice Harris. Police say the teen, who is no stranger to law enforcement, gunned down four people near 75th and Coles last week. The reason? Police say it appears- April 3rd, 2015, at about 11.30 a.m. in the 5800 block of South King Drive near Washington Park, a 22-year-old man was walking when a gold-colored car pulled up beside him, opened fire, and pulled off. The man was taken to the Northwestern Memorial Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Jerome Anderson, aka Lil Boo, was a well-loved BD member and was one of the founders of 600. He was also a top general too. Him and his set stayed around the 59th and Cullerman area, which is not too far from Parkway Gardens which is better known as Oblock. And he was also cool with a lot of their members too. He was also the one that gave LA Capone his name. But even with this guy being a good leader, he was also a killer too, and was speculated to be involved with over four murders. One was a girl that went by the name of Crystal from the MOB set. Another one was Polo from 051 Young Money, plus Big V from Taekwondo World, and MOB Scrap which was a big hitter on the MOB side. And we'll talk about him maybe in a part two. But on September 26, 2017, the GDs will lose a big hitter on their side too. 12.45 p.m. on a Tuesday afternoon. In the 700 block of South Chapel, a 21-year-old man and a 24-year-old man was both shot in the head. Terry Tyree Mubarak Burry, aka TB, was the 21-year-old. The other man was a close friend of his. TB, though, was a big hitter on the GD side. Even was a rapper, too, and made a song dissing Front Street, Old Block, 600, and Savage Squad. And the song is named Taekwon Way, with over 2 million views of this recording. So he was known for dissing in this music. And these guys in Taekwon world hang around the 6200 block of South Vernon Avenue. He was also responsible for the murder of over four people, which was in 2015, Capo from Front Street, in 2016, Melvo from Nikki Gang, and plus in 2016 again, Chino from O Block, and in 2017, allegedly he was responsible for the murder of T-Roy, and he was a top ranked assassin on the BD side from O Block, which we have a whole story on T-Roy on our page, but a guy of the name of HK, which was T-Roy's brother, was allegedly the person that killed TB weeks after T-Roy died right in the same spot. So getting this guy killed was a big score for the BDs at this time. But only about seven months before that, on March 8th, 2017, the BDs would take a big loss too because one of their top ranked BD members would lose their life moments after being released from jail. Kamari Belmont, AKA Bob O, 23 years of age from the THF set, was being held on murder and robbery charges after he allegedly shot a man during a robbery and robbed another man a few hours later in 2015. The man he shot died a few weeks later though. Cook County prosecutors dropped the murder charges at the end of January after allowing too much time to elapse under the state speedy trial statute. So that means Bob O was released on charges he allegedly committed, all because they took too long to get his trial done. And on March 8th, 2017, at 5.30 p.m. on a Monday, a friend of Bob O posted his required bond of $10,000. And at 11.12 p.m., Bob O was released from Cook County Jail. Bob O was only a few blocks from the jail when a white SUV pulled up on the side of his car on California Avenue and someone inside the car started shooting, police said. 
Belmont was hit several times. The white SUV then ran a red light as it sped off and crashed into a car near Interstate 55, police said. Those inside ran away. Bob O collapsed in the street and died at the scene. Bob O was known for putting in work on the BD side and he was known for consistently robbing people. He was also known to have killed over four people, which one of them being Lil Chief from 051, and he was allegedly the driver on a hit of Big A, which was a female from 051 Young Money, plus Big Freaky from Deckside and Ralph from 757. And the THF set is mostly located on 44th and Princeton and 44th and Woodlawn. This next assassin though, is from the NLMB set, which is the rapper G Herbo set. This guy was known to put in work, and the first time this guy was arrested was at the age of 12. He even got shot in the leg with his homie Lil Rock back in the day. Well, he is just 19 and charged with a quadruple homicide. This is Maurice Harris. Police say the teen, who is no stranger to law enforcement, gunned down four people near 75th and Coles last week. The reason? Police say it appears to be retaliation for his father's murder a day earlier. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonyo reports. Police say Maurice Harris's father, Jerry Jacobs, was a documented gang member who was arrested 47 times in the past. Jacobs was shot to death a day before the quadruple homicide happened near 75th and Cole. Maurice Harris, now about 23 years of age, was charged with a fatal shooting of four people at a restaurant in the South Shore area. Around 3.30 p.m. on March 30th, 2017, a gunman walked into a restaurant on 75th Street and Coles Avenue and opened fire, killing Emmanuel C. Strokes, 28, and 32-year-old Edwin Davis, police said. Dylan Jackson and Raheem Jackson, Asians 20 and 19, were visiting their mother while she was working at the restaurant when gunfire broke out. Both tried to flee, but they was also shot in a nearby parking lot. Harris, aka No Limit Wet Em Up, was arrested and charged less than a week after the shooting. Police at the time said Harris carried out the shooting to avenge his father, Jerry Jacobs, who was shot and killed the day before. Even though Harris did not provide a confession, several eyewitnesses told police Harris was the only shooter. But even though they had several eyewitnesses, the eyewitnesses was incredible in court, and it wasn't enough evidence to charge Harris on the four murders they said he committed. More than two dozen counts of murder, attempted murder, and aggravated discharge of a firearm were dropped at a hearing around June of 2020. And up to date, No Limit Wet Em Up is a free man and seems to be pursuing his rap career at the moment, dropping his latest video a month ago with over 158,000 views called Mix. But that'll be about it for this video. Just remember, there's many more assassins all through Chicago. So if y'all want me to make a part two, just let me know in the comments. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.